Hey, lovely ladies, it's Vitae Phone 94, and I'm coming at you with, of course, what else do I do? I do hair tutorials. Um, not really a hair tutorial, just my reviews on the hair. Um, so I've kind of been slacking these past couple of months, like, before I even got this hair in my head, which I will completely explain and talk to you about once I get this off my chest. Well, not off my chest, but basically, like, catch you up to speed to where I've been since my Taraji P inspiration short hairstyle with my natural hair. Um, <clears throat> I, for, like, about a month, just one month in August, I had a short period of a curly weave. Um, I got it from Queen Virgin Remy, of course, and it was a 18 and a 16 inch, and it was a U-part wig. The hair was great the first two weeks. Then the third week, it just, I don't know what happened. It was probably too, it probably dried out from the constant water. But I conditioned it every time I watered it. It's not like a plan. But basically, yeah. So, long story short, the last week I had it in, I was like, I'm fed up with it. So, I was like, I don't want to add heat to my hair. Because I will always leave, leave out on the top of my head. Um, I don't want to do that. And I don't want to, like, get the curly hair again, and it does the same thing. Because, honestly, I don't know how to maintain curly hair, because whenever I get hair, I always either wand curl it, use a straightener, or straighten, like, use a straightener and curl it. So I never really deal with just curly hair. Bad experience. We'll never try it again. Well, I might try it again. Once I research more on how to use curly hair. But anyway, so this video is my RPG show hair. Yeah. Can't prepare this time. I have to go that far for this little sheet. Okay. Oh, let's go. Okay, so I've had this hair in my head. Well, I have this hair on my head because it's a wig. Um, for. Let's say I got this the first of September. I mean the first third what what month are we in? Are we in September? Yeah, we're in September already. Okay, so I wanna say I got this the last weekend of August. So I have this hair for about three ish weeks now. Um and it is from RPG show. It is the <clears throat> ELS 118S in a 16 inch. Okay, let me just like debrief and I will definitely put this link down at the bottom. All right, so I go into RPG show, the regular RPG show, just when I say RPGshow.com, you type it in the site that pops up. They have this wig for 16 inches, I believe, maybe close to 400, 300, like either between 300 and 360 dollars and then I was like oh no for 16 inches oh my god no I can't afford that and then like I look and then like I go to another like right under rpgshow.com they have rpgshowsales.com same company and I guess it's just like their wigs are trying to get out of stock that they might want to just get rid of, or just like their special sale site. Same wig, 16 inches for 120, or <clears throat> scratch the 100 part, for $260. Yeah, it's still kind of cheap, means steep, but it's $90 cheaper than what I was going to buy. Well, I wasn't going to buy if it wasn't under $300. So, long story short, got this wig, $90 cheaper on rpgshowsales.com will definitely post the link because they might have a new sale up since it's been a while since I ordered this one. So, yeah, that's just that. So, I have a full lace wig on. It's human hair. So, I can part it anywhere, everywhere I want. Um, lace, I mean, color is a 1B. It's the yakky texture. That means it's the closest to African-American hair perms. And it's a medium brown lace color. Um, and I have a glueless cap, but I did not like the combs. I have the combs still in, but I'm not really using them. I'm actually using the um, elastic band method. 
There's plenty of YouTube videos on elastic band method or blueless wig application. Um, but what I did, I just like sewed like a little elastic band about this big um, to the two like I want you to see it, like the two little, I'm going to say little ear flap, and I just put it on there and sewed it on, and I put it on, and it leaves it flat, just like I like it, <laughs> but anyway, and also on the back, I guess my head's kind of small, because I have a cap size one, the smallest cap they have without, like, getting it custom made, so I just put, like, Two bobby pins in the back just so it won't like flap up because that's a small head, I guess. But anyway, pose of this hair. Okay, so I had this hair in for a quite some time and I can give you my honest, honest review on the hair. A, toes curl like a wonder. I've been trying to make this video. I made this video twice on my iMovie and I just haven't felt like editing it, so I'm kind of just condensing it to my YouTube. But I had a like a video of me actually curling the hair. And so I'm gonna say the curling definitely a plus out of all the hair that I've ever had that did not curl to curl when I get this hair. And I've curled my hair this morning at eight AM. It is now four. It's now four and it's the same amount of curls that I curled it in this morning. I just did it like a light wave. Light wave, just to, I don't know, switch it up a little bit today, because I've been wearing it straight. When I wear it straight, it is amazing, it's beautiful, it blows in the wind, and it's just like off of a movie, it's amazing, this hair is great, I love this hair. It does not tangle, wait, lies, okay. It does have little, little like nits. Like, you know when you're combing through your hair and you get like a little stop right there and it takes like a little while before you can like get it out like this. You need two fingers. Ah! To break that. But that's the only real tangling. There's no tangling in the nape. The nape stays pretty, pretty good. But there is shedding. That's the one thing, one bad thing that I just, I can't explain how annoying the shedding is. It's not even that it's a lot of shedding. It's just like every time I say, okay, I comb my hair. Look at that. That's a fresh shed. Just one piece of hair. Nothing major. Nothing major if you can see it. Just one little, like, straggler. But when it happens every time you comb your hair, every time you run your fingers through your hair, Okay, another one. Not like really that bad. Like honestly, it's not like you comb your hair and it's like a big gulf of shedding. It's just like you comb your hair and you're like, okay, one. But it's just like every time, almost every time you do it, it's like a piece. I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't bother me. It's just, it just happens more often than I wanted, but I mean, this is a lace wig, full lace, so the hair is like hand tied, if it's hand tied, but it's just tied to the, to the, um, the lace, so you can't really complain of the shedding unless it's coming out in big balls and chunks, and it's not, it's just coming out one at a time like natural hair, so it's not really that bad, but that's the only negative thing that I can say about this hair at this time, like, I mean, it's bouncy, it's wavy, I washed it twice, um, and let me get into the actual lace part. So we're going to get really close and personal for a minute. All right, so I did not bleach my wefts. I haven't gotten, like, the type of wig cap that I want. They do send you one wig cap. Um, it's more of, like, a mesh, so it's not really, like, a full cap, like a stocking cap. So it doesn't really, you can't really see it as well as you want, so if you want your part to be like, I'm sorry, I'm like breaking this up, because I'm trying to explain in my head as I tell you, so it's not like if you break it up, ah, oh, wait, I'm sorry, I had a brain fart, guys, all right, 
So it's not like if you put a wig cap on and you want it to be like that nice, like, scalpy color because it's just a net. It's not really going to be seen that um, nicely in your hair. So you might want to get another one if you don't plan on bleaching your wefts. And this is without any anything on my scalp. Like, I just made this, not made the scalp, like, I just moved my scalp, like, part, um, I'm going to say a day ago, so, like, I haven't really felt like going in with my foundation. I just, like, it looks fine without it. That's what I really like about this hair. It's, like, really, you can put it on and go, but I like to style it, but most of the time you can pull it off, so just, like, put it on and go, and once I get the right kind of um, hair cap, I definitely will not even be worrying about bleaching the knots because the knots are very small. So this hair is pretty awesome. Um, I just have this back there because it just gets in my face whenever I like write notes at, in class. So I just put that in the back. But I want to show you the hair. Like I don't know if you can see that, but this is just a random freaking part. And like if you can see it, that's amazing. Like the wind can literally blow. Your hair can like get everywhere, and it still looks amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Like this is this is like amazing to me because I am giving my my natural hair a break. I'm not straightening my hair at all. I haven't straightened my hair. I would say in about two months. So I am actually starting to experience some growth in the part of my hair that was breaking off. It wasn't growing. Um, these wigs really do help. Like, I can oil my scalp every night because I do not sleep in my wigs. That could be another reason why the hair is still doing really well. I don't know. Um, but just the fact that I can give my hair a break, I can, like, let it breathe when I want it to breathe, it's just a really good thing. And even though it was kind of steep on the price, I would definitely say if you're natural and you're tired of sewing in your hair, you can't trust everyone with the lace closure, and you don't want to straighten your hair to make it blend with that, like, straight hair. You don't just feel like trying to make it blend with curly hair either, like I was trying to. This is really a good route. Like, you can take it off. You can leave it on. <laughs> and... It really, it really is worth it. Like, if you think about how much you spend on getting your hair, so the average good hair will run you anywhere between, like, my queen virgin Remy, it was good. It was okay. It wasn't perfect hair. Like, for how often I had to buy hair, it was cheaper just to buy the wig. <clears throat> let me just say that. So let me say I was spending anywhere between 150 and $250 every time I bought my hair. And the hair that I would buy wouldn't last that long. It was okay. And then I had to get an installed for 85. I'm already, what, at like close to $300, $400. And I had to do that almost every two to three months. And this, yeah, it was $260. But if you take care of it, like if you take it off at night even, you're preserving it, you're making it last longer. And you can just take it off. You don't have to sit in the shop for four hours. You don't have to, like, have someone install it for you. You can have someone apply it for you. But, again, that won't take as much time. And, plus, you can do it yourself. Like, if you really watch your YouTube videos and how to get it to look natural and perfect, you don't have to go to a shop. So that's why I really honestly like this wig. And I will remember to add the link at the bottom so you guys can price it, see if it's, like, in your price. Um, budget, but yeah, if you have any questions, any concerns, if you don't like it, if you want to know more about it, if you want to see how I style my hair, this is kind of like an all, it was, it was more, I just want to say my book bag caught it a little bit in the back, so that's why I just messed up in the back, but um, if you want me to see how I style it, how I apply it in the morning, just write, write, write below. And then like it. Where's the like button? Like it right there. And, yeah, I need feedback to know what you guys like and what you don't like, what you want to know, what I did not explain. Just let me know. All right. And bye, guys.
peace.